I got asked for this video so many times and now we're finally doing it. This is our Huawei Nova 7 5G camera test. Beautiful people, welcome to Isa Does Tech, where we do tech in your real life, in style. And like I said, in this video, we're taking out the Huawei Nova 7 5G and vlogging with it so you can see for yourself how the cameras perform. But before we get into that, a quick reminder that the 99 Lazada big brand sale is happening next week. Enjoy up to 90% off on their biggest brands with no shipping fee and no minimum spend. And yes, I do buy anything and everything from Lazada. And to show you quickly, here are a few things in my room from Lazada that just make sense. This ring light for online calls because I need to find my light and some ideas. This cute wall mirror so I can reflect on my life and what's happening around me now. This awesome carpet because I want to be in a whole new world right now. All from Lazada, link below. So what I can suggest is add to cart now and check out on September 9 for 99 Lazada big brand sale plus pro tip legit to Lazada or get two times your money back. Also for new users you can use this code for 4.99 off minimum 5k purchases. Right back to our video. So the Huawei Nova 7 has five cameras. Anyway, finally, I was able to commit to it and vlog, so welcome to my Sunday at home because where else would I be with a family? Good morning. It is 11.30 a.m. It's a Sunday, so <laughs> it's a rest day. Uh, we are testing out the cameras of the Huawei Nova 7 because I asked on my YouTube channel and you voted that I do the camera test for this phone first and yeah, you are looking at and hearing the front-facing cameras of the phone and well this is my new coffee spot by my aquarium let's that see so basically every morning i sit here drink my coffee and watch my fish because guys i just built this aquarium by myself plants are now thriving we have ingay <laughs> Plants are now thriving. We have a few danios, we have guppies, and then we have my new auto catfish over there. There are two of them. So they're supposed to clean up the algae in the tank. Oh, there he is. It's a cute little... Where? There. People request for this a lot. This is a social media test. So this is a story posted with and by the Huawei Nova 7 5G. So this is an iPhone you're seeing it from. So that's why it's cropped a little bit. But that's how it works. just so relaxing to look at like also dual view mode is still one of my favorite features you can also do picture in picture mode like this and then change this around Ooh, wait it's 4 p.m i've done absolutely nothing today except for stare at my aquarium and then stare at my dogs um I'm actually charging the new Huawei Free Buds because I'm gonna try it out a little later when I work out. Um, yeah, let's do some selfies now. This is the front-facing camera. Uh, there is a live beauty mode, so let's check it out. This is the live beauty mode though, but if I'm not mistaken, the video quality has been downsized, so this phone can actually shoot in 4K with a front-facing camera. That is this, no beauty modes, but when you switch back to beauty mode, which is this now, this is at 1080p, 30fps, so that's actually pretty impressive. Like I said, usually phones, when they do beauty mode or live filters, it downgrades the video to like 720p, so 1080p is pretty good. Giving you my room now, it's a little messy. Um, this is One X with the rear camera. Funny thing is, there is a wide angle still photo setting on this phone, and that's what you're looking at now. 
and this is the one x photo but on video you only have one x and that's this now let me zoom in um these are my plants by the way 10x uh this is now pretty much against the light as you can see and go back to 1x I was doing the dual view earlier today with the fish tanks but yeah we're doing some selfies I need to be in front of the mirror and I mentioned this in my last uh, zoom call tips video that you know you can sit in front of a window did I say mirror I always say mirror but yeah a window to make your selfies better and beauty mode you have all of these different um, features but mm, beauty mode to enhance ladies remember that always let's try to edit so there are crop features Ooh. <laughs> and you can change intensity so if I want black and white and be like super black and white or not really black and white I like the original adjusting all the different features more beauty mode Ooh, you can adjust it even further sculpt what does that mean Ooh, okay no basically contouring huh blemishes dark circles bright Ooh, white and teeth stickers oh okay gotcha how about what is this flash Ooh, so i can just be all like ah nice so that is the portrait mode and from here, you can choose, of course, the different effects. We've seen this a lot. This is best used when there's like tiny lights behind you or trees because the light peeps through the leaves. Photo mode. What is this? So you have different filters here. We also have the AR lens, which is really, really cute. I was busy thinking about boys, boys, boys. I was busy thinking about... <laughs> okay, I... Again, that's the nearest I'll have to a dancing TikTok. Right, so we are going out to test the cameras, so... Again, just a refresher, this has a wide, a 1x, 3x, 5x, and up until 20x. I forgot I still had D and I'm gonna need to set up the free buds. Ooh, that's here. So... These are in-ear earphones now and they have noise cancellation so we'll see how well this fares. So I just opened the buds and ooh, there we go. That was quick. How do I get to settings? Nice, we have all of them here now. Major audio call, audio contact sharing. Okay, I want to try this out. It does most definitely Okay, wait. <laughs> it does most definitely block out the aircon hum. So, nice. Alexa, turn off AC. Right, next up on my busy day is hanging out with the dogs to take out more sample shots. Okay, time to play with the dogs. You know, I really wish this had wide angle. Hi! Wow, hi Misty! So there are different video slow-mo settings on this phone up until 32x but as you can see and this is 
something that happens with all phones at 32x it crops in and it needs more light and well i just really like um doing like 8x or is it 4x like in the middle because i feel like it's able to capture more um situations easier this is true in 1x and this is true in do you see that switch though when does it make that switch oh that's nice zoomed in so this is 1.8x 3.3x is looking pretty good true true that is 3.3x zoom and wow that looks good up until the next yeah, 10x is the most it'll go. If you have a really steady hand, that looks very good. For reference, this is walking and talking with the Huawei Nova 7 5G. There is no separate um, steady mode or gimbal mode. So if you decide how good that is when it comes to stabilization bruce what's happening bruce whoa wow hi where is bruce going man oh wow man man Okay, so I have more pics of my dogs, but in vlogs, just like in life, things go wrong. Like, how my screen capture didn't record my audio. So in the next part, I'm narrating, and you won't actually be hearing audio from the Nova 7, but it's only for this part. So I have to say that I've been really impressed with the audio from this phone in this vlog thus far. I haven't even adjusted audio levels on this. With Bruce as our very willing portrait subject, let me show you something I like on the portrait mode. There is a 1x, 2x, and a 3x. Yes, a 3x. And I like that because normally you only get 1x on portrait modes and it's very seldom that you get 2x. This one has 3x. I'm just not sure if it works on dogs. <laughs> There is an aperture mode, which is what I call bokeh for objects, and that also works on dogs. And yes, there is a 1x, 2x, and 3x option here. Plus, you can also adjust the aperture settings and adjust that blur in the background. There is also a super macro mode on this, which means, you know, close-up shots. And of course, the Hyrus mode that produces 64 megapixel photos because the main shooter on this phone is 64 megapixels. Thing is, phones like this usually use pixel binning to take smaller but better shots. As you can see here, I have a 64 megapixel sample, which means it's a bigger photo if you ever print it out to size. On the other hand, this is a normal shot, a smaller one, although it used pixel binning to enhance the photo, and you can see that it does look better. I mean, speaking of those main shots, I am honestly impressed at these photos. Like, for example, Nala under the table against the light came out like really, really good. <laughs> Anyway, some exercising was up next and take note that I was shooting this indoors in part of the house that had really weird lighting. I think that improved selfie camera did pretty well considering the circumstances, though I'd still prefer a wide angle selfie. So I have a problem. Um, I'm trying to shoot my workout with the Huawei Buds, but of course when I shoot video, the music stops so um ha i was able to connect the earphones to the iphone because so i was able to connect the freebuds 3i to the iphone because i need to be vlogging with the nova 7 so yep Finally, the 
night mode test, which I'm doing indoors because I'm not going out unless absolutely necessary and you shouldn't either and also when you do wear a mask. So to do the night mode test, we need the candle and a dark room. Okay, wow, this looks like <laughs> a seance or something. I'm kidding. <laughs> right. So because my phone is on auto flash mode, it gives me those bars. And now my face is illuminated even if I'm sitting in the dark for this video. I like that. And that folks was our camera vlog test video on the Huawei Nova 7 5G. Honestly guys, I absolutely enjoy taking you with me as I try to discover each phone's photo and video taking capabilities. Let me know what you guys think about what these cameras can do down in the comment section down below. If a full review of this phone is something you'd like to see, let me know too. That's it for today and if you want to see how I use my tech on a daily basis, you can find me on... This is new you guys, so I just switched my Instagram and Twitter handle to at IsaDust underscore so you can find me there. Until next time, 